everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another virtual pet vlog. It's been quite a while since I made one of these vlogs. The last time I made one was when we moved into this house and nothing has changed since then. If I could go back in time and tell myself in that vlog that I wouldn't have a single wall painted in September, I would have laughed because I was so sure that we at least have this room up here painted, but you know, here I am, it's September, and I'm still in my wonderful piney palace, um, but life is good, um, and I guess it's good to take a big change kind of slow anyways. But tomorrow I will be making a kind of big, kind of small change in the household, and that is that I will be getting a pet hamster. At this point in time, I will have already unboxed this hamster themed virtual pet, so I thought we could play this alongside me in real life getting a real life hamster. Those of you who have been following my channel for a while know that in March I had to give up my bunnies that I had had for four years because my husband is very allergic to hay and hay is um, the primary element of a rabbit's diet. Um, and that was very hard for me. That was a four-year battle with my husband's severe asthma and allergies, trying so hard to get everything to work, and in the end, it was just kind of a battle we had to give up. And I've always wanted a hamster. Um, about two months ago, I brought up the idea of me owning a hamster to him, and we did a bunch of research. Um, hamsters do not need hay in their diet, and that's really what my husband's allergic to. Also, we have a much bigger space here in our house, so the hamster can be quite far away from my husband. And then the hamster is also in a cage um, or an enclosure, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, and that limits the area where any allergens will be. Compared to the bunnies, they had an entire room in our apartment. So I'm sure everything is going to go very well. Again, this is a discussion we've been having for a while, so I feel like I'm very prepared for this and I'm very excited. Step one is to unbox this and get it set up. Step two is for me to go to work tomorrow, and then step three is we'll be going to get our hamster. So I will go ahead and unbox this. If you haven't already seen my unboxing video, you'll be able to find that in the description box below, but then I will check in with you all as well. I've only been playing this pet for like five minutes, um, and I already know that it's super cute. If you watched my unboxing, you know that I had to rewind the time um, in order to play it a little bit because it, it's already asleep at eight o'clock. Um, so I guess I'm gonna set the time back, and then we'll have to take a closer look at taking care of it tomorrow morning. I just got out of work and it is finally Friday. I am so glad. It's just been such a long week. I brought this with me to work. I wanted to show one of my coworkers and of course I had to take care of it. And I felt kind of like a fish out of water because I, I still have no idea what I'm doing with this pet. Um, however, it's definitely very cute and I'm enjoying these mini games. This one right here is my favorite um, for earning coins. Sorry, we're a little out of focus. Um, but you stretch your cheeks to catch the apples. I'm feeling a little more confident about my actual hamster, um, which we're going to go get in a second here, actually. Um, so this is going to be my setup. I have an approx 19 by 24 inch bin cage for its main enclosure. And then I have a Habitel crystal connected to it just for some little extra space. I'm not sure what that one measures. It's not like a part of its actual required floor space. Um, but yeah. We're going to go get him, and I'm so excited. So we just got home, and uh, sorry if, if you can hear my squeaky floors. We also got Olive Garden for dinner, so I'm just going to put Figment in his cage um, so we can go eat. And then, of course, you kind of let a hamster settle in on their own for, oh, whoops, on their own for a few days. So it's not like I'm going to be able to play with him much. Are Delicious adult craft dinner. <laughs> Today is Sunday, so it's Figment the Hamster's second full day home, and it's Barry the Virtual Hamster's third day. 
And isn't Barry looking so much better today? I think I'm finally getting the hang of this whole virtual hamster thing. And I've definitely figured out that the way to this hamster's heart is through its stomach. And it looks like she doesn't want any more food right now. It's because I've been feeding her marshmallows and burgers. So definitely nothing that I would fe feed my hamster in real life. Um, but as you may have noticed, my wallpaper is also different. And that is one feature that I am just loving about this virtual pet. So if we go over to our notebook here, we can go into the room customization area. And I just have two rooms um, that I've purchased so far. So it looks like I have quite a few more, but I can switch it back out. And then you can switch out the frames on the wall, the bookcase, and then whatever's in the corner here. So if we head back over there, down to the bottom option, I have this little ice cream <laughs> that goes with the, uh, the sweets wallpaper that was um, on the walls just a second ago, and I think I'm going to switch it back to that one because I was really enjoying the change. I think I've also figured out the toys, which is the wheel option down here. If your hamster's happy, they start out with um, the bar partially filled, so when you go to uh, rapidly push it to fill it up, it's much easier to fill up. If your hamster's not happy, that bar is I'm pretty sure I'm just impossible to fill up. Yuppie. This morning my hamster evolved into this character with the long hair and the skirt and I think this is a good point for me to end this vlog. I think I'm going to keep playing the hamster for a little while just so I can um, see if I can unlock the other wallpapers and such um, because I do really enjoy uh, like the ability to design your room in this virtual pet. Uh, however, I think I'm um, I guess done with it in terms of I've, I've played the games, the mini games enough and I'm ready to move on to something else. So far, Figment is doing very well today, but he is asleep at the moment, so um, nothing much to see in his cage. You know, he's a little white fluff ball under a bunch of white bedding. Still very cute, though. You all will definitely see him in other videos for sure. Thank you all so much for joining me today for this vlog about my virtual hamster as well as my new real life hamster figment. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel and finding me on Instagram at lovepandabunny. You can also find me on Discord, Twitter, and Facebook. All links will be in the description box below. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.